What's going on, beautiful people? So this video here is gonna be kind of rough because I don't have my recording equipment, but I wanted to go ahead and shoot this video anyway. So I was working on the sleeper build with the earring motherboard. And as you all saw the last time, I was using a GTX 1060 because the onboard graphics kept crashing. Well, you'll notice that there is no um, external graphics card installed. And right here, I'm in safe mode, which that is no help. But I'll show you what I figured out based on somebody named Pears in the comments. Thanks, Pears, for uh, figuring this out and sharing the information. So what Pears figured out would work was that you need to have Intel driver uh, 31.0.101.3790. And this was released, I believe, the 22nd of October in 2022. Now, when Windows 11 installs, it tries to install uh, the driver that came out in, I want to say, December 2nd of 2022 or December 9th. I don't know. Doesn't matter. But that driver, if you install that one, it starts things crashing, right? So the reason I started you out in safe mode is I'm gonna show you uh, how I fixed my machine. I booted into safe mode and I got this driver as a zip file and I will post a link to uh, this driver in the description. Uh, and I unzipped it onto the desktop, okay? Then we go down here, right click on the start menu. Gonna go to device manager. And here was the magic part, okay? We've got our display adapters. And um, when I first did this, I had my uh, integrated graphics installed. But basically, whatever you got here, go ahead and right click on it and go to properties. And then you're gonna go to driver, update driver. You're not gonna search automatically. Browse my computer for drivers. And then you point to this folder on the desktop so I went to browse, desktop, there it is. I unzipped it, remember, because you got a zip file and then you got to unzip it. So you go to your Graphics XC Plus inside of there, click OK. And then I'm going to let me pick from a list of available drivers, okay? And actually, you may have to do have disk and then put it in here. The same, it's exactly the same thing. But make sure you point to that Graphics XC uh, Plus. So you go to your desktop and then here it is, the folder, Graphics XE Plus, and then click open. And then you click OK and it's gonna show you um, some drivers, right? But you're gonna say show compatible hardware. And I want to find just the Iris XE graphics. This first one's the older driver, I think, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next on this and I'm gonna say uh, yes. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, so it's not gonna let me show you on this machine because I've already set a policy to keep, um, keep from updating the graphics, okay? Uh, so we'll get into that uh, here in a second. Now, um, the first time I did this, when I got it working, I was really excited, but I had made sure to unplug the Ethernet so I could do the next step and set the graphics policy. So let me go in here and restart. It should come up normal now because I'm not in safe mode or anything. Okay, I'll go ahead and sign in here with my pen. Okay, so uh, what you wanna do is after you get that driver installed, cause it won't throw an error and say, cannot install the driver. The reason that it did that is, I've got this thing locked down now so that it will not install an updated driver. Cause we don't need the newer version. If we get the newer version, it will not work. So I'm no longer in safe mode. 
Gonna go to device manager. Okay. And um, this is assuming that you've got that uh, Intel XE driver installed, the right version and everything. So I'm gonna double click and I'll show you the uh, driver version here. See, it's from 10-17-2022. Uh, 31.0.101.3790. Apparently it breaks if you go past this version. And we all know this motherboard is an abomination because it's got a uh, engineering sample chips uh, hacked on uh, to a desktop motherboard and the chip is meant to be mobile. So it's an abomination. So this is the driver we want to stick with. You do not want to go anywhere from besides uh, this version of the driver. So let me show you how we can get it so that uh, Windows will not update the driver for any reason. So I'm going to go to details here. We're going to hit this drop down and we're going to go find the hardware IDs. In my case, it's third one down. I can't make any guarantees. So find your hardware IDs and we have four of them, okay? Luckily, if you right click, it gives you the option to select all and then right click and copy them, okay? So copy them. Now, this next part, you don't necessarily have to do this, but what I did was open up Notepad. So, and I do apologize for the crappy camera work, but I, I was so excited that this worked. I wanted to get it out for everybody. And so now I'll just paste these in. So right click and paste, and we're gonna need them one by one here in just a second, okay? So leave that up, and at this point you can close your device manager, okay? And what this is gonna do is set what's called a group policy that will prevent uh, this driver from being updated automatically by Windows. It will basically stay on that driver that we set. Now remember, uh, I have my Ethernet plugged in right now, but you would want to unplug it so that Windows 11 does not try to update your driver while you're setting the policy. Otherwise, you're going to start all the way back over. If you get that new driver from December from Windows Update, the, the graphics, the onboard graphics will not work. So what you're going to do, uh, I'm going to hit um, Windows key R, okay, and that'll bring up the run box. Then I'm going to type gpedit.msc, gpedit.msc, okay? And this is the group policy editor. If you've never been in here, there's all kinds of options that you can set to control your Windows installation. It's great, especially if you run a lab and you don't have domain rights to set stuff. This is how you can set stuff on the local machine. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to administrative templates going to go down to system and then we're going to go to device installation device installation restrictions and finally you get some options over here on the side okay now once you get in here let me make this a little bigger so we can see it once you get in here you're going to go find one called uh, prevent installation of devices that match any of these device it's cut off but you can see any of these device IDs Okay, so you double click in here. The first thing you gotta do is enable it. So click enable, then there's a button here called show. So click show. Now this is where I uh, went one by one and you double click in the little box till you get an edit cursor. Okay, uh, and I went one by one and got these that I had pasted into notepad and copied them. Okay, and one by one, you come in and double click, right click and paste, and it'll make another line. Okay, and then when you're done, you click OK. Like when you've done all four. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. I already had it in there. Okay, so these are the four that I needed. You'll notice that they do match, which are right here. Okay, so there you go. Close that. And then when you click OK, um, there is some command you can type in that will refresh your group policy, but I just rebooted, okay? And the beautiful thing is I rebooted and then I installed Windows Updates to make sure 
that Windows updates would not brick this, and apparently it will not overwrite that driver. Whatever driver's in there is stuck. It's, it's working. Uh, and it's just stuck in there. It's not going to update. So um, I'm going to run Windows Update again just to show you that I have installed all updates as of March 28th. And it's fine. This is the onboard graphics. <laughs> so that makes me real happy with the sleeper build. I had bought a PCI riser cable and, and was figuring out how to set this up. But I'm going to put a link in the description to the right version of the driver. And pairs, whoever you are, wherever you are, thank you for hooking us up. This is the power of YouTube and the power of the community. Again, I apologize, but I don't think anybody that wanted to use the integrated graphics are going to be upset at this, uh, this crappy quality. Because at least it'll show you um, what to do to get this to work.